Yeah, I can give you a quick tip on how to do some eyelids. So this guy has eyes already, but we'll just take those away because where we're going, we won't need eyes. So to get a proper shaped eyelid, you have to start with a proper shaped eye. So we're going to be doing this by appending a series of spheres. So here is sphere one, which is right there. And we will shift this into position in the skull, maybe about that big. Eyes are not complete spheres. They do have a bump on the front where the lens and the iris and everything lives. So the best way to do that is to duplicate that sphere, move it forward a bit and scale it down till it sticks out uh, roughly about that much. And there we have an eye. Now for the eyelid, what I'll do is I will duplicate this main eye shape. I will increase the scale a little bit and then I will go and use the knife tool. This time I'm going to be using the knife curve. And you take that and you slice it in half. And that gives us the shape of an upper eyelid. And I like to rotate that up a little bit. And for doing the lower eyelid, we will just duplicate that shape, rotate it 180, and then shift that down as well. And that's how you kind of rough in the basic eyelid shape, or at least how I do it. And this gives you a lot of leeway to um, change the expression and alter things as you need. Now these don't look great at the moment because there's a lot of things we're missing mainly the corner of the eye or the caruncle. So go in with the move tool and shift this eyelid about. And this eyelid will conform to this eye shape. And with the bottom one, we'll pull this out as well. And maybe go in with uh, Sculptor's Pro and smooth this out a little bit. The lower eyelid usually blends in to the skin at the bottom and it doesn't really move that much. So later on in the model, I will merge this eyelid into the face. But we have that, and for the caruncle, we'll just duplicate that main eyelid shape again, put it over here and shrink it down until it is a little blip of skin. And that's a bit better as far as the overall shape goes. Now the eyelids do kind of merge together in a little corner shape here, and you can spend a long time getting these shapes exactly as you need them, but that will do for now. And if you want to mirror that eye shape onto the other side, you just go to your geometry palette, go to modify topology and mirror and weld on the X axis and go through all of these and do the exact same thing. And there you go. Th that's that there. There you go. I did it.